Hello and welcome on my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my first week in 3.22, about my experience with normal blights, about my experience with ravaged blights, a um, little bit of update on my poor man's cremation um, build. So yeah, let's start with uh, normal blights. So well, the first blights weren't just the same as in 3.21, so I documented that in a video on my channel. It was basically the same idea. You finish your campaign, you buy your first map. Actually, this league I had to unlock the quest, which is something new, so I'm not sure if that was added in 3.22, or I was maybe lucky enough to encounter Kesha in, uh, in previous league. I don't know, honestly, but it took me like five or six maps to find Blight, Blight Encounter and uh, I was really annoyed. Then I bought some Amber Oils and run my first T6 map with Amber Oils, so that went pretty smooth. And from then there I just completed like T10 maps because they were much cheaper than red maps. I filled in my inventory with some Chaos Orbs and Oils and then was running T12s with Crimson and Double Amber. Mm, as soon as I upgraded my build a bit, I moved to T15s and I was basically running whatever I had in my inventory, which means combination of crimson and black oils. At certain point I had to buy some crimson oils and then maybe like 10 black oils. So I played normal blights for about maybe 6 hours. Unfortunately, un unfortunately I did not have a chance to play, let's say, uh, in one go, so it was like me playing 30 minutes here, one hour there, head to AFK. Mm, it wasn't that easy and I didn't didn't have enough time to do so, so it took me a while, basically one day spending with normal blights, then the next day a little bit normal blights, a little bit challenging myself against ravaged blights so that I understand what is the minimum that we need to have to, to clear the ravaged maps with this build in this league and more about that in a, in a second, but yeah, basically it took me, I think, around 10 hours of running normal blights and doing some small crafts to, to get the currency to upgrade my build and get to the ravage maps. So it's not terrible, it's not as fast as the, the, the DD build, so DD build is around, what I, what I heard, 600c on the, over the weekend. So maybe it was 6 diff when Divine Orb was 100c, maybe it's uh, 3 diff now, maybe it's cheaper because some of the items are probably worth much less, because it, this the other build uses um, some pretty off-meta uniques, I think, so they should rather go down rather than up, like Dialas. So um, Dialas was 2 diff in first day, I couldn't play over the weekend, so I missed that when I logged into the game on Monday, it was already 5 div, same with Unearth, so that, let's say, uh, complicated my plans a bit, but what we can do, right? So we had to go on with the with the flow and play more and get more currency just to, uh, to, to, to get it done. I thought I won't pay 5 divine per for the Alas, especially that Ashes were, was 10 divine the same day. And uh, I'm, I'm not even sure how much ashes is because I'm gonna need that soon. Mm, let's see. So ashes is now 16, uh, the other seven, so that's still close to 50% of, of that. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. We can work around it. And I'm gonna prove it with one hour video of me clearing Ravaged uh, within that budget with, with this shitty build. And this is just for science, <laughs> so normally you wouldn't want to do that, but let, let me uh, see if I can manage to, to clear 10 maps without a fail with that build. I already cleared like 15 maps without a fail, but you know, when you record a video, it's always something going wrong. So yeah, let's hope uh, I can do that. So going back to my, uh, to my short list of topics, right, so running normal blights, yeah, I've just used crimson and black oil, whatever I had. If I didn't have them, I just went and bought like 10, 20 of them. I did, didn't uh, really enjoy using silver oil and opal. I did use those that I found. So when I found like silver oil and opal, I did run them, the maps with, with those oils. 
but I didn't get anything from that. So the only device I've got was from running um, the Crimson Black strategy. I think we would need to run like a lot of maps with opponent silver to get it to get somewhere from it, but I don't think uh, it's worth when silver oil is 24C and opal is 8C. I can't see this uh, this working, especially that the diff was like 130. So that's too big investment for too, too little gain. I think when the economy matures and diff is like now 200, um, maybe when silver gets down to like 18, 19, maybe that would be more effective. I don't know. And honestly, I was so bored by running normal blights. It was just um, building towers and crossroads and being AFK. I did not enjoy making currency that way. And because those items like Fanta Cremation was so expensive, I think I needed to spend more than I did last league doing that content. So that's unfortunate. So yeah, if you wonder what to do with normal blights, I suggest you just uh, try to minimize expenses for now. Um, maybe use opals instead of crimson and like opal, opal black, or maybe go opal, opal silver and tell me if that works for you. I don't think I'm gonna test it uh, before my holiday because I, I still want to enjoy the game and play a little bit of Ravage Blights as as I can and maybe try to see what's the profit of, of some Ravage Blight strategy. I planned to do the test of Normal Blights before my holiday but yeah it's it's just too boring. I mean I, I just hate it <laughs> honestly after playing so, so many hours with Ravaged Maps doing Normal Blights now when you can play Ravaged Maps uh, it's just boring. Maybe I'm gonna do some tests by the end of the league, just running 50 of, of each, like, I don't know, 150 maps. That's gonna be quite boring, but yeah, just maybe for science I can I can do that for you. And then we will know uh, how better drops are. Maybe we can simulate, like, early league costs, having in mind, like, silver for 24C, seeing how it works. And yeah. Maybe that's gonna be useful for the next league, but still, I think investing so much in into oils, while you can get like those small upgrades and getting closer to ravaged maps, and that's basically five hours of gameplay. I think if you are a bit lucky, so I don't think it's really worth to overthink normal blights. For people that on, are only interested in normal blights, well, then I don't know. Maybe you can just run ten maps of each and see. Where you get better loot, have a feeling which strategy drops more divine orbs. But again, if something works now, it could be that it didn't work. You know, day two, day three, where most people would run normal blights. So, so that's tricky to say. I, I don't want to say uh, that one strat is like optimal and do that. I, I think that doing this uh, approach to minimize the investment, like paying 9c for map using oils that are worth 9c that eight that's 18c if you drop 100c you are 80c plus and that's that's cool you don't need to get 200c from one map it would be nice but if you need to spend 50 60c per map and you only get that maybe one in 10 maps then maybe you won't even have a chance to to, to see divine orb so honestly i don't know and regarding uh, moving to ravage blight so uh, with cremation uh, we will talk about each item and the costs and we, at which point to switch i would say that melting having melting of the flesh is really the moment when you can switch to it and then you need to have enough dps so um, i'm not really sure for other builds what would, what would it be but i guess possibly you would need Oriad's End flask, that's 10 divine now. If you have it, potentially you can clear uh, Ravage Blights with something else. Unless you have uh, tons of DPS already, then possibly yeah, you can try yourself. I think that uh, other option is using Amber Oils instead of Teal Oils, as someone pointed out to me on, on, on my Discord. So with Amber Oils, it's not really possible to replace any other oil using Teal Oils. So the only way is to replace Teal Oil and I wouldn't use Golden Oil for that. 
Although, yeah, you, you will get the same rewards as with Till Oil, except the encounter will take longer. The downside is that Till Oils actually make it the encounter a bit easier, because if you are basing your clear on towers, you might not get enough tower slots without Till Oils. The Till Oils deploy lanes faster, which means it's pretty hard to be in a situation where you don't have any slot on a line to build and i had this so many times before i was running till oils that you run them up um, first minute passes you get one or two lanes where you cannot build a crossroad uh, stun lock so i don't know how to deal with that situation when you don't have dps you don't have tower slots and some layouts are just plain bad like uh, fields i believe or, uh, yeah it was fields and some other layouts as well. I can't remember exactly. I think I had it in one of my spreadsheets. So those layouts were terrible for non-till oil. With till oil, that's fixed. So that makes it a bit easier. So maybe use two amber oils and one till oil for faster lane deployment, so that you know how to you, you, that you can build it. And maybe that's that's the way to get to ravage supplies earlier. I didn't do that, I just played normal blights, get my currency, get my items, then changing myself against ravaged maps until I was pretty confident that I can clear most of encounters. Because if you lose like your golden oil investment that's 100c, that's not worth risking. I'd rather run normal blights rather than burning currency for your upgrades. So. Uh, with DD, they managed to do that on Saturday. The fastest players, uh, many players, did that over the weekend or first three days. So I think that's that was the best idea and the best build to start this league. If you aimed for ravaged maps directly, you could, uh, you know, make a lot of currency by by running that that and selling all the items, jewelry, and everything you find there. So that's really cool. Uh, but I predict that there might be sl some nerfs to the D next league because it got uh, quite popular this league. I don't know. Let's see what GG does. Let's don't focus on on uh, finding a problem where there is and there is no problem at all. And yeah, let's move on to cremation. So um, the situation with uh, poor mass cremation, right? So our build was based on Dallas. This is expensive now. I built mine without it. Uh, we can find a cheap cluster jewel to, uh, let's say, replace the original one. And I think that melding of the flesh is mandatory. We'll talk about all the items that I've bought and uh, what I did. I don't think it's like set in stone that you need to follow this way, but I think that it's cheaper than following the original or the last leak. Uh, Mm, program so that's that's an option for you to, to decide whether you want to go for Dialas or not and try the harder the harder way to get faster to ravage so this is the bare minimum we go for scepter plus one physical uh, fractured and then we use deafening essence of fear so your item should look like this then you craft a trigger socketed spell you can of course unveil it you can search at items of the veil, uh, one-handed weapons, and unveil them. I really recommend you to do that because then you can also maybe craft some items with that. Um, otherwise, you can pay seven or eight chaos on TFT to get it uh, crafted for you. So then the, the big item is ages, and I don't think we can skip that. I played with a different shield that recovers energy shield on block, but. I think what we really need from from ages is except for uh, a lot of defenses we also get the max res and i doubt we can skip that because that's really nice for melding of the flesh so that's unfortunate it's so expensive but i think it's worth it i think it's worth it so that's that's the biggest item we need to get mm, for this build mm, and i don't think there's other item in the game that could basically do the same stuff as as ages Nothing else to say, just get the cheapest one. Mm, there's nothing we are interested in there. 
we froze. And the helmet, it's just uh, unearth enchant 10c, just get whatever. Mine helmet is pure shit, I just rolled uh, mana reservation on it, and that's it. And armor, so instead of Dallas, I go for incandescent heart. Um, I got one with. <laughs> with quite shitty rolls, because I got only 11% of my elemental damage as ca extra chaos. That should that should be as close to 20 as possible, but there was no, let's say, um, there was no good armor when I was buying it on Monday, or I think um, I bought it on Monday. Uh, we have first day today, is it? So yeah, so I bought it on Tuesday, sorry, the, the second day of my league. Uh, so boots and yeah, so boots I bought uh, just the onslaught boots for 30c. What you need is uh, dexterity, resistances, and uh, onslaught and movement speed. Uh, I should find one for 30c, maybe 50c. That shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, maybe showing you mine. That's nothing fancy, right? If we, if we search for it, I have a lot of resistances on that, but. Uh, I didn't pay a lot. So, foreign divines, come on. 30 chaos, right? You should find one if you uh, adjust a bit uh, the dexterity filters. Uh, rings, so basically whatever. Uh, with chilling tower freeze, second anointment. Uh, I'm using meteor tower for FP FPS. <laughs> That's a bit silly, but uh, yeah. Burning ground helps killing mobs. Killing mobs helps uh, maintaining your FPS. If you don't have a lot of damage, if your cremation doesn't chain, you need somehow to clear the mobs. Otherwise, your computer is gonna drop to one FPS. If you die, you're not gonna get back to your map. So I st still use Meteor Tower, but it's up to you. You can use increased empowering tower range. You can use like imbuing tower or whatever. There are many anointments that would work, but just pick up whatever you build, right? I mean, if you not if you're not building meteor, ta I mean, uh, the yeah meteor towers, um, just don't get burning ground because that, that's useless. So get something else. If you if you can if you know how to play ravaged maps and still have time to build meteor tower here and there, I think that's worth it. It kills some mobs, and like I said. Maintaining FPS is more important than ever in this league with the performance losses we, we, we encounter. And yeah, uh, on the rings, I think important is total mana cost. You can craft it, you can buy minus 10, so it doesn't matter. Uh, with mana, my unearth is zero, cremation is two, so I still proc uh, inspiration. If you have blue socket here, just uh, use elemental focus and maybe then those rings are a bit more important but our mana threshold is basically controlled by the bone offering cost mine is 42 i have six, 76 mana we have so much mana region that we are basically all the time uh, having maximum mana we still have fifth slot on mana flask because we don't use oriaf's end so that's pretty okay uh, about 10 c just uh, max es Whatever, stygian wise could be nice for phasing, um, you know, just getting phasing. I think you should get one for free and yeah, look how many I have. So just pick one you like for free. <clears throat> Dying Sun, yeah, that's pretty important, especially that when you have this, when charges reach full on ravaged maps, that's almost like mage bot because, um, yeah, we usually have like charges all the time. So that's that's 100% uptime for this flies. I think it's for 60 to 80 C. That's pretty cool. Just don't get like minus 60% duration. Try to get 50% or less. Uh, other flasks, just roll them yourself, mate. 5 C for buying bases. If you don't, didn't drop them, just try to get increased armor, increased movement speed, uh, reduced effect of curses on you. That's that's pretty straightforward. Uh, corrupted blood immune jewel so yeah i'm gonna show you how how i search for that so first uh, you need to set your skill to c 
corpses set uh, like enemy corpse life it doesn't matter if it's accurate or not just set it I don't know 400k so that POB understands this is our main damage and we can trade for those items then um, just find best jewel you can set wages if you if you want different wages just uh, select them we don't really want effective hit pool with with this jewel although yeah maybe maybe we want like uh, energy shield so maybe we can add wait for that and let's search for our jewel I'll show you how to how to find a nice one uh, I was uh, practicing that <laughs> so yeah so we want base jewel we want to add another group yeah so we sort by wages so you can see there are like those expensive one we don't want them i think you can see like 60c so yeah um, so basically pick the one that you like uh what we really need for damage is like minions deal damage increased fire damage is nice increased damage if there is any like that yeah cast speed is also nice mm, yeah some dexterity would be nice but basically just pick something it doesn't need to be fancy it doesn't matter just get the cheapest one that you know ensures that you won't be dying due to corrupted blood it's really important you can get uh, you know Im some Im immunity on corrupted blood on your mana flask that's i don't know what else we could get except for the crafted cost of uh, skills but i don't think that's that's really required for for starting ravaged maps <clears throat> maybe for for later optimization so uh large cluster yeah um uh, yeah, let me show it in POB. So for large cluster, we use uh, corrosive elements, prismatic heart, widespread destruction, and that's around 50C. I checked before making this video, and ensure that you have correct type of of cluster jewel. Uh, do I have it? Oh, I just closed it. So basically. Basically, you need increased elemental damage or increased fire damage. I think that's that's also gonna work. For small cluster jewel, we use uncompromising, which increases our determination, mana reservation efficiency, and just pick small nodes like LRS or dexterity on strength. But I think LRS is nice. It's plus nine. Just try to find plus nine or maybe even more. At budget if you can't just get the cheapest one mating of the flesh so i bought it for 100c yesterday now it's 1.2 div so yeah that's a bit exp maybe a bit one div i don't remember so let's set it to one div whatever uh, right so now it's 1.2 it needs to be minus four percent max rest that's that's very important and the minus rest doesn't matter Mine is minus 76, and we still have more than we need. Yeah, we have 79 cold rest, and we could get way, way more resistances because our gear is shit. So we have plenty of room to get more resistances. It doesn't matter. Just get the cheapest minus four. That's I think worth not not worth it to invest. Phantasma cremation. I think that's really important. I tried clearing ravaged maps with normal cremation and I actually succeeded but I also lost one map and yeah I didn't try again because that's burning money mm, I think that phantasmal cremation is now quite cheap uh, it used to be five divines in the first days and that's a bummer because uh, ages is five Dialas was five phantasmal cremation is five that's already 15 divines for free items right but now uh this is a nerf now it's 
2.3 and regriding lens is 50 c so what i actually did when it was nine divine for one day i believe it was a tuesday uh i got my on tuesday so yeah i basically bought two of those items rolled was lucky so the way it is one in 11 tries when you reroll uh, a different quality like um, divergent or or anything else so yeah it's not the best idea when it's 2.3 just buy it straight from the market if it's nine divines then try to maybe roll it with with this item regrading lens um, that's one in 11 that should be 500 c uh, to get it done that's three three to four divines on average but you might get lucky like i did i did it in two tries that's 100 100 c so much cheaper than you would need to pay for it but well, what you can do so it's really core uh, for us to 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 have it especially that we don't really have other source of damage and it's not really great it's not really great but it's doable <laughs> without damage so yeah the other's not really that important as i thought but i think that getting ashes now it's it's pr priority right so yeah, I think that it will be a night and day difference with ashes and not. And getting the alas for 7D and then 5 linking it and maybe 6 linking it, it, it's not worth it when we have so much also DPS and defenses from this chest. So yeah, just skip the alas, that's my, that's my take. If you have it, then great. And if you get all those items plus you have the alas, and I think you will be better off, especially with melding. You should have enough melding ensures that we have enough resistances and uh, defenses to to sustain ravaged maps. Uh, other gems I bought most for 10 to 30 C, uh, empower 80 C level three, and this is the interesting part: the tattoos. Ah, there's what before tattoos. Uh, that's water ice with. Uh, with clarity and negative mana cost, I have minus six. But you should get close to minus ten, then maybe you can get better rings later. Doesn't matter. I paid like fifty C for mine, and it adds as well uh, some physical damage reduction. And I have purity of ice, which I do have, so that's bonus. And that's why that's why I decided to buy it because I found it uh, quite cheap and yeah and that would be all of the core items then we have tattoos so there are two types of tattoos that we can use this leak that gives us a bit of uh, strength so one is uh, the reduced extra damage on our int nodes so we don't need int so much right we have like i have 280 left but our int gives us uh, energy shield right so actually that's two percent energy shield per, per node i use eight of those tattoos do I? One, two, three, four, five. No, I use five. I use five tattoos, so I get. I get my. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, I have thirty percent uh, less crit damage elsewhere, but uh, yeah, I I decided to let's say use those tattoos because I don't have Virdis Veil or other mm, tech to actually counter critical damage and we are really good with Val Discipline to counter damage over time so we are really vulnerable to big hits so that's one way of mitigating that and that's basically 2c each so I don't think there is reason not to use them of course later we will get rid of this shit uh, as we won't need that but for now I think I still need it and the other tattoo is the large dexterity node. It gives us plus, plus one level that affects uh, unearth and cremation and that also affects uh, our purity of ice. So um, I think it's it's worth it. I paid ATC for that. It's getting cheaper and yeah, I think it's one plus one level to our main skills. So yeah, why not? So that's basically all I paid, so if we summarize that 6 divines, 7 divines, 
um, that's 10.4 and everything else is I don't know two three C so that's 13 14 15 divines that gets me to ravaged maps that gets me to the golden oil strat you will still need some more currency to buy your oils buy your maps so you don't wanna really play like you buy one map you buy one oil you finish then you need to ping people again because they don't they're not gonna reply and that's annoying and wasting time so try to make enough currency so that you can buy at least maybe a few, few maps and this should get you going the moment you drop like divine orb from from the strat that's bonus right so you will get like 200 c in loot plus divine orb that's 400 c in loot and that should keeps you going right so yeah so to summarize uh, everything uh, i think 3.22 is uh, not that bad and yeah the dd was better starter but cremation is not end of the world oh my um uh, cleaning robot started so i'll be finishing and yeah remember to jump in on the discord i'm there oh, sorry uh, this discord so i'm there there are many people answering questions and yeah hope to see you soon cheers bye